Bonjour. Good news. I've got a few days annual leave plus the Jubilee weekend, which means I can get stuff done. First things first, you'll have to excuse the wind a bit. Typical in it, bank holiday, sun disappears, wind arrives, rain due. Alas, my air connectors, I wasn't sure what size, and as they were only a quid, I ordered both because I couldn't be bothered to walk out in the garden at the time and measure it. So you will remember my bodge, which looked a little something like this. At the time, needs must, I just needed to get it um, back up and running. But with the magic of camera trickery, so that's looking much tidier. Got the little Y valve in there, so that one going to that one. And then that just disappears down the back of the pond to feed the other area. So I'm just going to switch it on and we'll see what she looks like, shall we? Excuse the wind. Hang on, let's just go in here where it'll be a bit uh, protected. So bottom drain, air and air. So the problem I was having, despite that one being off the T or the Y junction, no matter what diffuser I use, what air stone I use, they're both ones a uh, six or seven inch ones a nine inch wherever I placed it the air preferred that corner although this is its easiest route out which blew my mind so what I've had to do is to get an even balance between the two is just on the one that the air is taking the preferred route being careful not to squeeze it too tight obviously to puncture it but uh, I've just put a jubilee clip on and that's obviously just um, stopping too much air going to that back one. So now what I've ended up with is a nice even distribution. One, two, three. And uh, not only is that going to help my dead spots in the pond, it's also going to aid with the oxygen. So as I said before, I think I was 0 0.0, it's 0 0.03 parts per million. Or was it 0, 0 points? I can't remember. I was half of what I should have been for the koi and in theory one third of what I should have been for the um, for the scourge and for Steve. Hopefully that has gone away to the rectifying. and the other thing I'm going to do is my new backy shower once that's set up it's actually going to be slightly higher uh, but I'll talk about that in a minute but uh, hopefully it should create a bit more air on the surface. Onwards and upwards. Playing around with that airline. The only thing I have just noticed is my fryer gone wayward. Maybe you're floating around the pond. I know they look petrified. Come back, come back. Eagle-eyed amongst you. Let me just take them off. Oh my God, look, now they're over the air, bless them. Let's get them off of here. These are good, these are, because they're weighted on the bottom. They don't actually flow around that easy. But you'll notice what I have done is I've this had a zipped top on it to stop things getting in and getting out. But uh, creating, A, it weights the top of it down, which means it always sits in the water, but more importantly, when you feed them with the floating food, if you're not using sinking food, what tends to happen is it sits on top and they can't actually get to it. Bit of a design flaw, you know what I mean? Honestly, where would we be without the humble cable tie? So they're anchored back up, no more floating. Just seeing the water, I need to turn my UVs back on and hopefully we can start clearing. I mean, the water is, it is clear in terms of bits and pieces. I mean, them, they're on the bottom at the moment. So as I said before, they're nearly one and a half meters down, but it's that yellow tinge, but we'll get the, um, the UV back on. Hopefully within a couple of days, that'll clear. So while we've been dicking around with the pond, Mr. Sunshine has made an appearance. Wife is over doing the garden, give us a wave. Just the sun has made an appearance, but JS Coy have delivered Christmas early. So inside here is my three-tier backy shower, and then my uh, two boxes of media. So I'm going to get this unboxed now, and then we can get rid of this thing. And uh, yeah, to say I'm excited is a wee bit of an understatement. So uh, I've been speaking to the guy at JS Coy now. I'm going to go indoors quickly because this wind, poxy wind, here we go. Oh look, I had a tidy up as well. 
So my little koi area where I do my scrapes and we put stuff in the tumble dryer and fridge. So I've just tidied up, put some shelves up, just so I can keep some of my bits and pieces all together. Um, so yes, guys down at JS Koi. Um, yeah, fantastic service so far. So uh, I will do a little bit of a review. I'll do the unboxing, do a little bit of a review. Um, anyone that's obviously not aware of what a backy shower is, etc., I can I can talk through that as we go. And the media, but um, so far service has been honestly. I've got very high expectations, but um, JS Koi, have, yeah, they've been very good. So I'm going to get on with unboxing. But anyway, onwards and upwards, we're going to unbox boxes, which is a very exciting time. Right, all unpacked. Hopefully we get a bit of a break from the wind so you can actually hear me, just as I say that. Do you think it's them air stones I've put in? Do you think that's where all the air's coming from? Right, first things first, packaging wise, it was so well packaged. So that's good in this day and age where delivery drivers, no disrespect, some of them aren't so careful. Well, not so much the delivery drivers, but the um, dispatchers as well. My only issue is, is I've got front bottom, front middle. How am I meant to know which one's the top? Of course I'm joking. As I say, massively sturdy. Very well put together, very tidy as well. So we've got our grates, removable grates in each one. And then over here, I've got the lid spray bar rubber elbow for coming out and i've got the weir plate or shoot or spillway whatever you want to refer to it as so um this is slightly different so i went for the slightly shortened spillway so as standard on the js kits you get i think so uh standard you get a 90 mil so I've actually opted to, I think it's either 60 or 63 mil spillway. So if your water level like mine, my water level is only sort of 50 mil below slabbed area. So obviously for me, that would have been a bit of an issue with the koi, possibly damaging themselves on it. And I wouldn't get much of a splash as the, uh, as the water. Water hits the water. So, um, yep, so 63 mil, again, lovely and sturdy. I've been saving for this for a long time, so, so I say it on nearly every video, we're not rich. So anything like this, we have to save um, a fair old while for. So this is a, a the culmination of Christmas money. And, so yeah, no, I've been really excited about this and obviously JS Coy did us a really good deal. Um, but yeah, I'll, you know, just for the service alone, it's been, uh, it's been worth it. So I'm gonna get this together get some of the media in there and uh, we'll be jobs are good one. Next job is to get this old one dismantled. I did get told off by Amia because I've got a pressure filter but at the moment needs must. I will put some um, filter cotton on top, the new shower. And uh, I've got to do something with this because apparently pressure filters are no-no, which I do know, to be fair. I do know they're a no-no, but at the moment, I just want to make sure while I've got a lot of green and that, I'm just taking some of that out rather than changing the filter cloth every day. So this will have to be a work in progress, this bit. I've spent me monies for this month. It's only just started. Well, I'm videoing this. The, well, payday was yesterday, so I've now I've got nothing left. Rat. So that's all the alpha grog out. There's one, two, three, four, five sacks in there. I think it's about 50, 60 kilos in total. And then there's the bottom of the old shower. <laughs> Harboring lots of nasties. Not good. So I've just got to remove the old spillway. I have to excuse my voice, my throat's hurting. Only a life. 
lives a life. So, as I say, this one sits flush, but new one I am going to raise up a bit. So, uh, I shall join you back in a bit. So, what I'm doing here, I wanted to fix it down on something, but I'm just making sure that I've got some decent levels. That's not too bad. Slight fall, but again, that's towards. It's not towards the pond at all. What's it like this end? Let's have a look. Okay, so we've got to come up just a nudge, just to make sure that spillway. Oh, oh fish. That way we're not too sad. So just a bit of tinkering. Got to be careful because obviously because there's no weight on this. It is going to flex slightly, so the slightest change there, look, I'll we'll just put it there. Once the weight of the shower is on it, actually, let's bang on. I think we'll call it a day there, you know. Right, I was just about to give it one check for level. I kid you bloody not, out of the way, fish. Out the way. Look. 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 There's my level. Good news is the bottom of the pond is level. Bad news is I didn't actually want to check. For fuck's sake. It's with some silicon as well, just to be sure. I've actually taken, or well, taken, I've made, I don't know if you can see them. So there's silicon darts, just to cut the screws to keep that shower from moving too much. And then I've just boxed in and created a little step. This will all get stained along with the rest of it because I've never actually got around to staining this bit. But what it is quite nice is it gives me a chance to, I'm only five foot seven. I can hear my kids sniggering now saying five foot six. But yeah, I'm only about five foot six, five foot seven. So A, I can get up on my roof a bit easier with a step. B, it boxes in some pipe work that's behind there anyway. And C, it holds it in place. So next step, get these bad boys on, get them filled up. Right, so the bottom one's all fixed in place. Now we move on to the media. So this is the JS Koi media. Feels horrible. It's like, um, for me, this is like touching tin foil or biting tin foil. Oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, so just gonna um, break this in half and then scatter it in randomly. I don't know how hard these are to break. Get on with it and then I'll update you in a bit. Hi there, Wee. You don't have a dog and bark yourself. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Just a little hint and a tip if you need to break lots of backy shower media rather than breaking it with your hands because it cuts you to bits, hold it halfway, give it a tap. Done. So I've got my helper here still. Oh, we've gained a helper. Good. <laughs> so that's the first one topped up. Just playing around with it, nice and random. Apparently is the way. Certainly no expert. Just gonna push that water all over the place. Just gonna slot a few more bits in where we can. And then on to the next one. But uh, quite therapeutic. So now we're all set up. Standard stuff, we're just fitting some pipe work together to come off of the elbow. So I'm going to come down into a, an easy 90. So just your usual rubbing up the pipe, rough it up a bit, break that seal. Same with the inside, they tend to have this plasticky sheen to them, so it's just handy to take that off. And then we'll just um, solvent weld them together. Right, so I just got to nip these two up slightly. Pipe work goes down to the bottom, runs into the pressure filter. We will look to sort that out at a later date, but now it's just a case of adding some filter floss, tiny bit more media, and then I think we're ready to fire her up. So it's all looking tidy, unless I turn around and look this way. I've got the hoover out, might seem strange, but with the packing process, I just want to get much rid of as much powder as possible. Same on the front. I could have uh, washed the media down. I didn't. Didn't even think about it in my excitement. But again, it would have broken up as I'm putting it in anyway. So 
alas. Right, let's get on. Just to strip the old filter floss. And fire the mat in. Get that in there. Just to catch the fines before it goes. What I don't want is it like my old alpha grog. Everything's nipped up now, I think. He says. Should check. What do you reckon, Mr. Duck? <coughs> so I'm guessing two quacks for yes, that's fine. Everything's in here as it should be. Alright. Moment of truth, I suppose. Alright, my loves. We're finished just in time. Coming up to the bank holiday weekend. And just in British tradition, let's have a bit of sunshine. But just for shits and giggles, let's have some sort of tropical storm. Uh, anyway, good news. Excuse the net. That is, uh, I'm off for a couple of days. That is the next thing to be addressed. I did talk about having a pulley system. Um, yeah, bit of a failure that. The pulley system that was meant to be sent so I could use it on my holidays, get it fitted, weren't sent. Thanks to the, uh, the prick that didn't send it, so if you're watching this, prick. But, uh, yeah, so all I'm going to do is for now, so uh, my old covers that I had for the winter with the polycarbonate on, I uh, had the polycarbonate on. I'm going to take the polycarbonate off and for now just make a net. A frame for the net with hinges um, just so it can uh, be lifted off easily but so at the moment that's got so that's got around 5,000 so the very pump 20,000 I do want to swap it for a 30,000 actually um, but for now so I'm just trying to think it's running at 75% so 5,000 litres time it goes for all the bends and that 5,000 going through that and then probably around 11, 12,000, I think if my maths is correct, down through that. But yeah, it's very tidy. Very tidy indeed. Gets a nice flow, makes, makes a nice noise. I know some people have said about backing showers make an horrible noise, but I'm not really seeing it. And what's nice is I've got my room. You can see how strong this is. Bear in mind how much um, media's in there. But because it's sitting at the back, oops, excuse me, sliding it around. So I'm going to get some of that mind your own business. Um, just to plant along the front, which would be lovely. I don't know if you can just see in that crack there. All the milter, uh, all the milter, all the milter, all the media is getting nice and soaked. And there's one bit here that's missing. Probably poke that down my fingers. Ah, oh, there you go. See, solved it. My stubby fingers solved it. But yeah, I've got one little joint here I need to tidy up. You'll see. Look, it pinched up as I was going. So. It's at a slight skew width. It's not an issue because it's well on there, but it'll drive my OCD mad. Um, when you're doing the Jubilee clips up, obviously make sure these are somewhere accessible in case you have got to nip them up. Nothing worse than if it's around the back or something. So, oh, I can see the water trickling in the back. Look. I didn't push it right back. The simple fact is I didn't want to see the little nibs on the side Plus it's central to the, the coping, which means its centre of weight is sitting as far down as possible. But it's bloody sturdy. It's bloody sturdy. JS Coy. Credit where credit's due. Yeah, I'm over the moon with that. I might put a couple of Japanese symbols on it, I'm not sure, or just leave it black. But like I say, I'm glad I levelled it up first. And I'm also glad I went for the smaller lip. So as I said earlier, I standard these come with a 93 lip, so it would have been another 30 mil down. Um, where I went for the slightly shorter, so 30 mil shorter. Um, I've got a bit more of a drop into the water, but yeah, nice and even. The fish seem to enjoy it. Look, oh. it's not as if I ain't got enough bloody oxygen now. They're oxygen rich. So. Yes, very happy indeed. And the best bit about it. Look at the size of it. So just by sheer luck, it fitted dead center of my two posts anyway, that was thankful. But my old one used to come right up, which always made it awkward for cleaning. So he used to come up to about there, he says, about there, not there, not there, about there. But this one, yeah, I can actually see over the top now, which means I can enjoy my coil from all directions, here, 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 and here, and here. So let's just have a look how this is doing. 
Let's see, we have a look at the shit that's built up in there already. As obviously the pumps have been off. I need to play around with that bit, lift that up a bit. So already you can see the crap that's coming through that's been sitting in the pipe work. So, yeah. Quite wonderful. So when I get the um, the very pump 30,000 other than the 20, rather than the 20 that's on there, I can bump this up a little bit. But until then, alas, it will do. Looking spiffing. There we go. In all her glory. Even the water looks like it's starting to clear up. Oops. Always looks better at night with the light on. I can't complain about that water quality too much. Absolutely over the moon with that. Cracking. 